it is a 24 hour day so uh, just a few uh, well about a half hour 45 minutes later starting the video again starting the next day's vlog uh, because the day is 24 7 so that's my work schedule I take breaks here and there to sleep but uh, it, otherwise it's all day long and all night long and uh, we're just now finishing uh, I just finished watching uh, 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 Leroy's. Before that, I watched uh, uh, Kesley's video that what she put up uh, her uh, boyfriend tag with with Brock uh, Michael from uh, Brock and Boston. Watched that. Uh, it's so funny they were watching everyone wa oh, because of the uh, well, I guess because of the, you know the chronic gas. You know, you have to wear a mask to just sort of protect your nose from all the different odors and vapors <laughs> that. Uh, of the noxious substance that are continuously floating around, but I noticed how off like this video was uh, was uh, 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 was produced in June, as they were talking about June, and it's already well, it's almost mid July already. So I think they're about a couple weeks off. Sometimes they're 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 almost up to uh, where they should be, and then they're a couple days behind, or even a couple weeks behind. Maybe they've gone on vacation or something like that. So that's the, that's the Leroy's because uh, well they're still, they're still they're going things have sort of the already starting to open up because they were going back to dance but you have that social distancing but the thing is if <laughs> you're just losing losing uh, learning the moves of the dance uh, you don't need to worry too much about social distancing but if you're dancing then you do need to uh, un sort of worry about the social distancing because uh, if you're dancing with a partner, that's kind of a uh, bizarre sort of matchup or, or, or trying to learn the choreography at so much distance apart and maintaining that distance. I think a, lot, a large chunk of this is what, what's going on now is that, and you'll see this, that different doctors will have different views uh, on, on, on this whole chronic gas station. That's because the body's so complex. Uh, it's impossible to, to pin down one thing for everybody. And so what happens, everybody is just kind of, you know, guessing at this and guessing at that and guessing at this without really giving any of the, the, the what are called proper scientific explanation. Of course, the news is having a great time because they can say anything they want to say and there's no consequence to it because, well, <laughs> we found our expert, you have your expert, and... <laughs> Everyone disagrees, and that makes for great news because hey, now you have conflict. Anyways, uh, I'm off to do some gaming. Uh, I'll be gaming for about a half hour, uh, and then I'll come back to the uh, to the vlogs uh, once again uh, at around uh, five o'clock in the morning. Uh, and I probably will end up knocking off around seven a.m. to get some sleep. That'll be uh, uh, my sort of my sleep schedule will start around seven a.m. Uh, but I might have deliveries today, so we'll see what happens in terms of how long I stay sleeping. If I have deliveries, uh, the door is going to be open, and the delivery person comes in. I have to wake up, meet the delivery person, take the packages in. And that's the thing, because I do have deliveries coming in that we're going to be doing unboxing. Uh, so, bit by bit, I'll get the hang of uh, doing the vlogging, uh, uh, getting things up uh, in, in the appropriate amount of time using... Uh, the space that I have in terms of the hard drive space and the store of the different shows and whatever. So, anyways, uh, as uh, we go on, we uh, this is the opening day, uh, the opening segment of uh, Monday's vlog. Oh, it's just a little after uh, midnight. I this is before I have a part time when you're working like this, 20, almost twenty four seven, and you're taking breaks to go to sleep. Uh, your days get mixed up. <laughs> and today is the 14th. And when I said it was the... F oh, when I said it was the 12th, the uh, vlogs that we did uh, yesterday, the vlog that we did yesterday was... Uh, uh, oddly enough, uh, the 13th. But the thing is, the, 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 the days bleed into each other. This is the thing. So the, the vlog sits over two days. So it, uh, it was started on the 12th, and then 
ended at the 13th. Th today's uh, started on the 13th and is going to end on the 14th. These are the things that are cut out. <laughs> Every time you're on camera, something goes wrong. Every time you start up, you think you have a good idea of what you want to say and how to have the conversation, but it never actually works out. Uh, <laughs> so uh, other vloggers will shoot, a, what I talked about before, they'll shoot the B-roll. And the B-roll is they'll go back in and refilm the thing that happened uh, with a corrected sound or a correction for a mistake or, or whatever. And uh, we're not going to be doing that here. This is uh, our typical conversation. This is hanging out. This is what a vlog is in many ways. It's uh, hanging out with a person. Right now you're hanging out with Cyborg Alpha. And if we were online together, this is who you'd be hanging out with. Cyborg Alpha is not a fake personality, it's my own personality, it's a real personality. Uh, these are different things that I have to sit down and figure out how you're going to program, how you're going to code this. Uh, this is the point I'm in right now, I'm trying to see how uh, various different behaviors, as you try them out, uh, can be coded. Uh, this includes inflections in the voice, the way you speak, um, the tone of the voice, all these various different things go into the construction of the entity. And oddly enough, one of the, the things that goes on uh, a, a significant amount. And I'm trying to sort of figure out where my eye should be to have a conversation with you because I don't know whether the camera's over here or over there. Um, I should have done a camera test to sort of see where everything is, but. Uh, uh, I I really haven't done that so anyways uh, as the vlogs move on I will sort of uh, gain more experience uh, I'm using a new camera setup that I didn't have before before I was using a camcorder from Sony uh, the new phones that I have now the phones I got now uh, have the same Sony circuitry the same Sony chips actually better chips than uh, than than there was in the previous version uh, when I was vlogging under at the, I was doing a Big Bang Theory RL uh, and uh, and the, the, the whole reason for the vlog was people wanted to know what I did and the only way I could explain to them is that you know the TV show Big Bang Theory well that's what I do I'm kind of a cross between Sheldon and uh, Leonard uh, I'm sort of a hybridization of that and I am a very nerdy person. It's hard often to, to say something or difficult to say something in public. It's difficult to be, have a persona. It takes me a while before I get comfortable with something. So more often than not, I'm fumbling around and <laughs> doing the old nerdy stuff. And it takes me a while to sort of develop a rapport, to develop a, 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 a sense, a comfort zone where the the what I'm doing flows more naturally and so this is going to be the process here notice that we're just now having an, a, a, just an empty picture popping up at the end there's no soundtrack beneath and there's no uh, ending theme this is you'll see the construction of all this this is and part of the teams what they do what they do, what the, what they do and this is what all kids do is you Learn as you go. You learn music. You learn this. You learn that. You're always learning, as as young, as a young person, or as a, as a teen or a kid. And this is the same thing here with the expansion of the mind and with the infinite knowledge. You're always learning, and it doesn't mean. And because I realize you're always learning, there's no problem going back and you know learning music. And there are other projects that I am working on for music, but. Once we bring bring up the music studio, and we will do that in, in, in future vlogs, we'll talk about some, because a lot of the stuff is in, in this hidden knowledge, forbidden knowledge uh, area of advanced knowledge that's uh, typically not for the public, but we'll talk about some of the stuff. And I'll be relearning my music. I haven't done, I haven't done a music, uh, uh, since I was 12, when I played guitar at the Royal Conservatory of Music, that's the 
the, the, the last time I took any instrument, so you have to relearn things. So that's the way things go. Oh, it's about 2.37. Uh, I came in early. As you notice, we're, we're at uh, uh, watching our vlogs around uh, a couple hours early, about well, two and a half hours early. Uh, I, I had finished baking, uh, making the food I was making. Uh, and so I came in, uh, had, had a taste of it. I had, uh, this is a, um, this is a pan-Asian type of burger, uh, that you can have hot or cold. And so I had it while it was hot and had, a, I made myself a nice little burger and it was absolutely amazing. If we had smell vision you'd actually smell the spices that permeate the entire, <laughs> the entire place. And the place is cooling off nicely. The, the, the system I've worked out to uh, basically degas the uh, the area, and it, heat behaves like a liquid, so it pools. So we have one pool of liquid here, one pool of uh, one pool of heat here, one pool of heat here. The goal is to create a river between the two. And typically, you want it flowing in one direction. You want it flowing in one direction and then out the other. So into one pool and out the other pool. So and with a river t connecting between. So the the one pool feeds the river and drags everything else from all the other rooms with it. Ends up in the final pool and you open a, a door or a window enough so that you have enough airflow out that the heat flows out with it. And so that's what I've, I've accomplished. And so the heat from the baking, uh, it has gone out the door and things are back at a sort of equal call a normal uh, temperature range. And so that's, I was said that it, 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 it's cool enough. I ate, ate the, the burger was amazing. Uh, if you like spices, uh, I will be showing you my, uh, my kitchen and how I cook uh, over the next few episodes. Anyways, I sat down, I ate, I uh, ate while I was watching the Yowie vlogs. Uh, I went to the Leroy's, the Leroy's didn't have anything up yet. Uh, probably not till tomorrow, or maybe later on in the day. They, they, they do have some uh, space between. Uh, same thing with uh, It's Our Life. Uh, they don't always post consecutively, consecutively day to day. So I ended up, I ended up at uh, our family nest. They had something up. I uh, went to Family Five Vlogs. I just finished there, and that was that's typically the end of my list. That's when I get to the, to the end of the night. I'm too tired. I don't want to continue anymore. So I turn everything off and I end up going to bed. But now that's uh, it's still two two forty in the morning. I still have a number of things left to do. No. There goes a Bluetooth system. So now I'm on my side channels. Uh, this is Clintus TV, and I'm three. I'm three episodes uh, behind. And what happens? What determines whether a, a, a channel is continuous or not continuous in terms? It really depends on how often they post. If they're typically a daily vlogger, I'll come by every single day. Uh, if they've, and this is what's happened with Clintus TV. I was going by every single day. But he's no longer a daily vlogger. He's backed off. And now he posts occasionally. So I come by occasionally and check on the channel to see uh, what I've missed. And so far it seems like I'm, I'm three, uh, three uh, vlogs down. So uh, like YouTube, I'll binge watch. I'll do another three episodes. Probably from here I'll end up going to see uh, uh, at the Leroy's. Uh, there's, an, uh, there's a number of uh, teen vlogs they have. Uh, bookmarked over there. I've got my own sort of like like uh, TV guide, <laughs> and so I can go and see what I want and check to see who's got videos. I'll probably go by the uh, Clay Leia, and then he, she has a sister. I'll probably go by her channel. Then on the Yowie vlogs, uh, uh, Danielle of uh, she has the channel N uh, Nelly knows. I'll check that out. Then Savannah has her channel called Savannah Ban Banana. I'll go check that out and see if there's anything there. That's, that's kind of how the day goes and well in terms of 
sitting here. And if I need to write or anything like that, I've got some ideas I want to put down. I've got my uh, tablet uh, right there. So uh, this is a work desk. That I can do uh, research from back here. But this is typically uh, time for uh, relaxing to mull ideas over and just basically think about things. Uh, now, anyways, uh, uh, I finished the first vlog. I listened to it because uh, I wanted to hear how my new microphone sounds. I got a new microphone uh, to vlog with, and it sounds pretty good. What happens in the background here, like here and in the front room where my main research desk is, uh, there are the cooling fans. The cooling fans uh, do come up on the video, but when I'm outside and there is no cooling fan, that's how you can sort of tell the difference between being in around the cooling fans and what's going on in the surrounding environment. So, well, it's time today to end today's vlog. Just finishing up uh, watching, uh, caught up on all the uh, Clintus episodes, the, uh, the Clintus vlogs. Uh, watch that on Clintus TV. Interesting. Uh, I started watching him before I ended up getting uh, a, a trailer. I always like trailers, and so I got a new. I got a place up north uh, where I was able to park it. It's in a tiny little village uh, in the woods in the middle of nowhere. And ironically enough, I've got uh, a good 4G connection up there, so I have uh, a Wi-Fi router, Wi-Fi to 4G router up there. That allows me to uh, to hook up to uh, a, a, a regular broadband in internet, so I have all of my office work up there, so I can do I can turn it into I turned it into a full research station. I haven't been there about two years. Uh, my parents had uh, some health problems, so that's prevented me from going for for about two two summers. This is my, my second summer away from uh, from the trailer. Uh, and so I gotta go back and fix it up. There are things that have to be has to be done. So that, that, that's what was, what was interesting here. Watching uh, they went up to uh, Mormon Lake. Uh, well, the ocean was up. The, yeah, well, they went up because they're south of Mormon Lake uh, in Arizona. So they went up to Mormon Lake uh, for fourth. The fourth. They had the Fourth of July weekend. And I think this is what I'll be showing. I'm showing the stuff that I cook. Uh, you know, uh, this will be my <laughs> my size of food is uh, what most people, would, most uh, teen uh, vlogs would consider to be a mukbang. So uh, it's uh, let's put it this way: it's a Greek Syrian type of size of meal where it's quite hefty. Uh, in, in itself. So I just finished, so I just had my, uh, made everything for the week. Uh, there's enough for, for, actually there's enough for two weeks. Uh, I just had in the oven, uh, for the rest of the week. And then I'll do the week after, uh, on, uh, probably on Monday. Next Monday I'll do it for next week. But I am going to be baking, because I've got the temperature under control here, I'm going to be baking cookies, uh, over the weekend. Uh, but I have to get, uh, get, my dad has, uh, some flavorings I want. Uh, these are Greek cookies, and you have a variety of ways of, of flavoring the cookies. Rather than putting in, uh, vanilla extract, which is basically an alcohol, uh, I'm going to be putting in some ouzo. And that gives you a nice, uh, a, uh, a star anise type of, uh, of, uh, uh, a type of flavor to it, the, the licorice type of flavor. And this is common amongst uh, some of the Greek uh, foods, is that you'll have the ouzo in there, you'll have the uh, the licorice flavor in the in the food. And this is ironically enough, this is true in East Asia and throughout much of the called the Pan Asian uh, a, a, uh, culture. So this is, will be a Pan Asian cookie. Uh, you can you usually use it to dip in coffee. It, it's a replacement for breakfast, so it will be my breakfast for the next next month or so. And so it's you know th this is where I like watching these vlogs and so I, so I can see the see the I can see the, uh, the 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 you know how other people do other things how they live I got to see different areas different different places uh, I think family family Fly vlogs is uh, 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 has a oh, there goes the sound 
uh, has a new one out. Uh, I have to go, go check that next. And otherwise, I'll see you in a couple hours for the next day. Because we're working 20, this place operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you'll start seeing when I when I when when I uh, when I uh, get too tired, you'll see the droops coming in, and uh, I'll start the crash. And <laughs> that's where I'll have a problem keeping up the daily vlogs is when I start crashing. Anyways, uh, see you in a couple hours.